And if you're into physics and simulation, then you might want to consider taking a look at this as Amandeep has just released Quick Physics. Quick Physics allows you to create clothes, rigid body, and curve simulation really quickly inside of Blender. And for those who like to take a look at this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that'll bring you right here where you can check out all of the cool things that this has to offer. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and see how this actually works. So with Blender simply open up right here, how you can work with this, it's extremely quick and easy. So first things you need to do once you download the add-on is to go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And once you install the add-on, you'd also notice that you can check for updates with this automatically. So with this done, all you need to do is click on the bugger menu, click on save preference and save your preference. Now with this here, if you tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have A tools, which is an abbreviation for Amandeep tools. So the first few things you might want to consider doing with this is creating panel. And how you create panels with this is extremely easy. So if you simply go over to your edit mode, tap three on the keyboard to switch over to faces, select any given face and click on remesh for panels. You can choose how much remeshing scale you want. And of course, if you like to make this precise, you can turn this on. Once you have that ready, you can click on OK and automatically this gets remeshed. Next thing you need to do to create that panel simulation is to click on simulate panels. And once you do that, you'd notice that you do have a very interesting operator right here. This operator controls the pressure, the shrinking, and also the stiffness. So if you like this to shrink, you can do that. If we want this to be inflated, we can turn that on. So the negative values actually increases the inflation while the positive values shrinks it even more. So we can dial this all the way up to a point like this and you can start creating cool stuff with it. More so, this automatically applies and adds a modifier right here. So within the modifier, you can make some changes, make some tweaking, but one thing is for sure that at any point in time, you want to play back this, this is already going to be simulated. And of course, if you like to keep this, what you need to do is just simply go over to your modifier and apply all of them. At any point you have multiple faces and you like to make their simulations individual, you can. So what you need to do is have all of them selected, go over to remesh for panels and you can turn on use individual faces. These would create the subdivisions for individual faces. So once you hit simulate panel, the simulation happens on individual faces automatically. Another cool thing, which is closely related to the cloning panel, is creating cloth simulations. And for you to create cloth simulations with this, is as easy as what we have with clothing panels. And in this case, we have a cube and a grid. So how we create simulations with this is very easy. All you need to do is have the object you like to simulate selected, and you can proceed to click on simulate. This would ask if you like to subdivide this, and in this case, we just like to subdivide this by say two. And we can also proceed to select what kind of fabric we would like to simulate. I can also continue by simply adding the subdivision after a cloth modifier and we can click on OK. And once we do that, automatically this starts simulating. So there's a couple of things you would probably notice with this simulation, which I think we should talk about. The very first one is the fact that there is a bit of a collision happening here as this tool doesn't require you to select an object and make it a collider. Automatically, it sees every other thing within its scene as a collider, so you don't necessarily need to set up a collider to do that, which is pretty interesting. Another thing here is you would notice that our clothes slightly touches on the model and then it proceeds to simulate and fall all the way down. Now, that is something we don't want. So how we can fix this is pretty simple. The first thing which you need to do is to come right here within the cloth settings and we're going to set the thickness outer to be something about this much. Next thing which we need to do is probably increase the quality to about eight and then we can proceed to go over to simulate and simulate this one more time. We're still keeping our subdivision as it is and we're going to leave every other settings the way they are and click on OK. Now at this point, you would notice that our model starts hovering right at the top before touching base. And it is because our tick outer is actually big. So let's undo that and slightly set this to 0.1. And of course, we'll leave the quality the way it is and run that simulation one more time. So with this, you can now notice that we have a better result compared to what we had in our two iterations. It is pretty interesting to know how your settings work as this would save you so much time when creating clothes with this tool. And of course, you can proceed to create as many clothes as you want. And while we speak about cloth, let's talk about one cool one, which I believe a lot of people are interested in, especially when it comes to physics, and that is the rigid body. So for rigid body, what we have here is a tiny setup of a couple of gears. So with what we have here, we would simply have all of these selected. Now to create your rigid body simulation is very, very easy. The first things you need to do is have the objects you like to simulate, then have a platform, and then you can proceed to go over to your rigid body 
and click on the word simulate. And like we mentioned earlier, it considers everything in your world as a collider, so we don't need to set colliders. What we simply need to set here is the mass, the friction, and we would like to use this as active proxy object. Next thing is to simply click on OK, and you would notice that we have a beautiful simulation happening right here. We would like to add additional meshes so we can get that simulation happening. So with this there, all I need to do is to simply click, drag this about this much so we can see that simulation happening really cool. And next thing I need to do is select the entire gears that we have and click on simulate one more time. So with this simulation running, you can now tell that every single thing that we have becomes collider. So depending on what you're trying to make, you can definitely go to town with this as it simply allows you to create simulation really quickly. And this is super interesting to see. Now, one final operation that quick physics brings to the table is creating curve simulations. Now, this is very easy and I definitely love how it actually handles this. And for curve simulation, what we're going to do is create two different objects and then we're going to proceed to create a curve. The very first thing which you need to do is just make sure that you have the object selected and then you can simply go over to the curve section and click on simulate and automatically you would notice that this simulates and falls through our models. If you simply take a look at it, you would notice that there's a slight interaction as it proceeds to fall. At the same time, you would notice that within the viewport, we have a couple of text that tells us exactly what to do. So if you simply hold down C on your keyboard, the simulation restarts and the collision distance gets increased as you continuously tap it. So in this case, once we increase our collision distance, you start noticing that collision happening. Interestingly, if you hold down Alt on your keyboard and tap C, you begin to reduce the collision distance as well. Also, if you're also thinking about stretching, you can tap D on the keyboard and this would increase the amount of stretch we have on the curve. If you'd like to reduce that, you can go ahead and hold on Alt and tap D and this is also going to proceed to reduce that. So it is pretty interesting what you can now create. So just in case you're thinking about creating cables or probably wires just hanging around your scene, then you can proceed to use this and start making these things easily. So this is it. Quick Physics from Amandeep is now available and is currently in beta. And for those who are thinking about getting this, you can simply go to the link in the description and grab it right now. It's also worth mentioning that they're doing a 25% discount on 15 of their add-ons during this Blender Winter Sale. So if you'd like to see these ones as well, you can definitely go over to the Amandeep page, go ahead and grab all 15 add-ons that are stored in the Ultimate Pack. This is definitely going to save you so much as you probably spend more when purchasing individual add-ons. Another thing to mention is the folks at Blender Market are currently doing their winter sale and a lot of things are going for 25% off. So if there's any tool out here that you're thinking about getting, then you can simply get them right now that they're doing this sale offer. And of course, links and coupon codes are all going to be in the description, so do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace